Hey there and welcome to today's video. I am so freaking excited right now. You have no idea how badly I wanted to try what we're trying in today's video. For today, I got, I'm so happy, I got the Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Focus Foundation and the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Ah! Super, super stoked. If you want to see anything to do with these guys right here, grab a snack, something to drink, and let's get going because I, I, I'm flipping out. I do, I have half of my makeup on. If you're new, if you're new to my channel, this is what I do. I do that portion of my eyes, my face, lower lash line, finish the face. It's the order I have to go with a little OCD-ish, but we're going to work with it. I do have to use primer and oh God, I could cry. I could so cry. Went to Ulta last night, guys. I went there just for the camo concealer because I saw online they had it in stock. I don't live in a big city. I live in like a rural, is I think that's what they call it, area, like country-ish. My Ulta does not get the new stuff like right away. We usually have to wait a long time. And I saw they had this. I went there walked in damn near shit my pants because they had everything everything from wet and wild everything from elf everything 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 and i had ten dollars on me i wanted to cry thankfully i had three dollars in ulta points and i was able to get both of these but they did have the primer the matte the luminous and the poreless i have the poreless they had everything, guys, everything. I, I, to, I told Willie last night I need to get back there with money. I even told him again today I need to get back there with money. I need, like, need from the bottom of my loins. Need to get back there with money. Anyway, we're going to do these two today. On my eyes is the Makeup Revolution Precious Stone Palette in Emerald. I am filming that video right now too, so check that out. I'm pretty sure this one's going up first. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm going to use the Putty Primer. We're going to go with that one. I know I have a pimple on the very tip of my nose i apologize with all my might but i certainly didn't want to wait any more to film this video the putty primer is on i think that the putty primer is okay i have other poreless primers that i think work so much better but i do still want to try the matte and luminous one trust me i want to so bad so i'm gonna just spray with a little rose primer water over the primer just like i do any other day and shibolas i didn't wet my sponges let me go do that all right i wet my sponges and i am fully aware i need a new real techniques sponge desperately I did grab one of these guys. These are Real Techniques too, and I love them for concealer. So I have a new one of those, but I need a new Big Mama desperately. So <clears throat> I have lately been using the original Photo Focus. The shade I have is Buff Bisque. Funny thing is they had Buff Bisque in the Dewy formula the shade did not look the same it really really didn't if i had the money i would have bought it just to show you side by side how different it looked even though it was the same name so i ended up getting soft beige in the dewy this is six dollars and 79 cents I believe, I believe, I believe. I should check my receipt. I'm sorry. It is 
49 at Ulta. The camo concealer is six. My receipt. I ended up paying four dollars and ninety-three cents for him and four fifty-six for the concealer because of my three bucks. So, like I was saying, so yeah, the shades looked so so different. Turn the light down. This is buff bisque. This is soft beige. And you can see that soft beige has a little more yellow to it. But I'm telling you, there was a big difference with the shades, you know, like that. And I also had the same thing happen with the hydrating camo concealer. I have two here of the original light sand, medium sand. I prefer medium sand in the original camo concealer so that's obviously what I grabbed in the hydrating one and holy cannoli it looked way too dark so I ended up getting light sand and I'll show you here too you can see the color difference with these guys too so this is the medium these two are the lights you see they're the lights are definitely, you know, a shade different than the medium, but there's almost a peachy tint to the hydrating one. I just thought I would mention that. found it odd that the same exact shade had a different color to it. So here we go. It has, okay, so it has the same thing as the OG original. So let's pop this baby on praying to god it's not too yellow you know because it really has that yellow tint to it i look like a warrior like an indian warrior i'm thinking that should be enough so i'm gonna just do it the same old way i do any other foundation and i don't know it's very yellowy i don't want to have to return it because then God knows it's so hard to get over there and then I feel bad because then it's like a waste of a foundation nobody else can use it if I return it it's not like they can resell it it's very yellow I am not I don't know I guess I notice a do but it's kind of hard to tell just yet gotta get get more of it on um, I've only seen like two videos with this foundation, both were a young person. So I'm interested to see how it looks on somebody with more mature skin like myself. And if you guys, um, don't know, I did mention it in a previous video. I went berserk bonkers looking for this foundation just last week I drove all over the area to a bunch of drug stores that said they had it online did not all because I didn't want to pay shipping and um, boom Ulta gets it I didn't have to pay shipping, but I did waste a lot of money driving around with gas. I don't know. I, I like I like it. I think the color might be throwing me off. Let me know in the comment box. I'm going to take my... I'm, look at my skin right now. I look weird as heck. I'm going to take my Believe Beauty Sponge and press in... That's what I always, always do. Um, it really just kind of smooths it out. I'm telling you that this Believe Beauty Sponge is awesome. It really smooths out. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's just got like a different thing to it. It just is awesome. And it's only like $4. I only use it for this purpose, just that smooth out for foundation and concealer I don't know guys look at the difference in color but let's try to get past that 
Let's try to get past me looking yellow right now. I like the finish a lot and I can certainly see the dew. You can look at, you can see it. It's like shining through. I just wish the color was different, but it may be okay with bronzer blush highlight. Look. All right, there's a light down. I think that it is really pretty. I know it's hard to get past me being yellow, but it is really, really pretty. I don't know how you guys feel, but when I'm in the store and I'm trying to shade match, those lights that they have, I find it difficult. I almost prefer to shade match online. So let's grab our camo concealer. I'm so excited to try this concealer too. It's the applicator is the same as the other one. And I'm going to do the one eye at a time because with the other one, I noticed it dries so, so quickly. That's what I have to do, the one eye at a time. So let's let's take a new one of you. And I love these little Real Technique sponges, these mini ones, just for this purpose. Wow. God, I love it. Oh. I, I like this concealer a lot, a lot, a lot really lot. Look at the difference. Holy cow. You see this, right? I'm going to take my Believe Beauty sponge and do my little press in. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Do you see this difference? And it's not dry at all. Should have light. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my, I'm looking at myself. Look at, oh my God, I just got 10 years younger. Holy cow. Do you see? I just got younger. Let's do the other side. Oh God. I knew, I knew, I freaking knew I was going to love this concealer because I love the, do I have blue in there? from my blue eyeshadow probably i knew i was gonna love this concealer i love the original and anything hydrating i'm about it and at a six freaking dollar price tag how do you go wrong with that six dollars i do want to add just couple tiny dots on my pimples that I have right now. So I have these down here, oh. my nose, and I have just a couple up there. You probably can't even see them, but I see them and they are driving me mad. I cannot get over the combination of these two right now. Again, get past the color. This is freaking gorgeous right now. Again, with the light off, I am going to finish my face. I have to set it and do bronzer, blush. I got to finish the under eye. I will be back to... Ah! Sorry, I just dropped everything. I will be back to show you the final look and I'm gonna do check-ins throughout the day. So I'm gonna just use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Powder to set it together. I think I should do that on camera because, because it could make it look dried out. Let's do that real quick. Let's set this puppy together. All right, guys, I'm going to dust this puppy off. I I still I'm still liking this. I and I did contour around my face with my Fenty Match Stick in Mocha. 
oh my goodness, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, just plain freaking gorgeous, in love with both the foundation and concealer. I love them both. I'm going to finish my look now. Do you see this though, guys? Are you seeing what I am seeing? Again, get past the yellow because once I add the bronzer, you can see where I added bronzer. It looks so much better, the actual color, but look at the finish. Hello, gorgioso. I'm going to go ahead, finish the look. I'll be back. Guys, I wanted to quickly just jump back on here and show you what it looks like with just bronzer. I did Fenty's bronzer in Shady Biz. I think it looks a lot better color-wise. Like, I match a little bit better. I think it is gorgeous, just gorgeous. Let me, I'm gonna shut a light down. Look, that's with one of the lights down and you can still see that dewiness coming through. It's, it's just beautiful. Hey guys, the look is complete and I must say that I am super mega happy right now. I think that it looks phenomenal. I mean, the eye look, but also mainly the skin. I am so freaking in love with both products. I feel like together, it's like the dynamic duo. They're just, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I know the color is off. We've established that throughout the video, but I think with the bronzer, blush, and highlight, it all came together okay. Let me shut a light. All right, so you can see I am like shiny, but it's a dewy foundation. I used this CoverGirl Outlast Active Setting Spray today. Doesn't say if it's matte or dewy. I just, hmm. Doesn't say matte or dewy. I used the Fenty um, Shady Biz Bronzer, which is matte. I'm thinking that with, for me personally, with this foundation, I would stick with a matte setting spray, matte bronzer. I feel like if I did a luminous bronzer and or a luminous setting spray, it would just accentuate the pores and wrinkles. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to play around with it. I'm going to wear the same combo tomorrow and I have a couple luminous bronzers. I'll try with that and I have some luminous setting sprays as well. So what I might do is, you know, play around with it and I'll post it to Instagram TV or I'll add it to this video. I haven't quite decided just yet, but I am definitely going to play around with both of these and the different sprays and bronzers to see what I like the best. So right now we got these two with it. I don't think the blush and highlight matter, but I will list what I used down below for, where'd you go? For my lip today, I grabbed an e.l.f. liquid lip. This is in the shade Tea Rose. I wanted to stick with e.l.f. or Wet n Wild, and I think it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Please let me know what you think in the comment box below. Let me know if you're getting either of these, both of these, or what you're getting from the drugstore that's new, because there's a lot out there. The Wet n Wild has a lip mask. They have a purple and like a grapefruit. I need that purple lip mask. Uh, I wanna try it so bad, because my lips are crusty as hell this winter. So let me know in the comment box below. It is 10 minutes to two. I will check back in with you guys later to see how she's wearing. 
see you later. Hey guys, it is about four o'clock and I am on my way to the bus stop, but I wanted to show you what it looks like outside in the natural daylight. Get out of the puddle. In the natural daylight. Oh boy, kids. I just took my hat off and you can really see it's so, so pretty. This foundation, this concealer, look at this. I mean, yeah, I have wrinkles and, and, and pores. I'm 43, I'm human. You know, I think aside from the natural, normal flaws, I think it looks pretty darn good. Hey guys, it is 10 o'clock at night and I've had this on since what, two o'clock, quarter of or so. So it's like about eight hours. Is that right? Yeah, about eight hours. I've had the foundation, all of it on, not just the foundation. Anyway. And I just want to give you an up close look at what we got after eight hours. And I, I know it's a little shiny and you can see wrinkles. I just shut down a light. I mean, yeah, I have wrinkles, no shit. So yeah, it, I mean, this is what we got. Let's go in the bathroom and do the lighting there. Might be a little different and I want you guys to really see as the light on lights on, okay? I want you to really see what the foundation and concealer look like after eight hours. You can see the pimple coming through. Yeah, after eight hours. A $13 combination. I mean, could you get any better than that? $13 for foundation and concealer, $6 setting powder, and this is what we're working with. Let me just say, I am like blown away, impressed. You saw the clip I did outside in the daylight. But, 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 okay, I have older skin, there's wrinkles, pores, yada, 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 yada. I didn't touch up anything today, not in here, not anywhere, and I know this video is not the eyeshadow portion, but I always have to redo my under eye area. This is the palette I used, Makeup Revolution precious stones emerald and i didn't do not one single touch up of anything but my lips today not a powder not a nothing i always have to use a powder every day around this area with the exception of the pure love your selfie foundation it's like the only one out of my 40 50 foundations i haven't had to do that and i didn't do it today with this foundation and concealer no freaking touch-ups and you know where i went today absolutely nowhere other than the bus stop Yesterday, I was out all day here, there, and everywhere. My makeup was running off like a mad woman. I looked like a crazy person yesterday. Today, I see no one. I'm good to go. Let me just say, um, you obviously know I'm super impressed. I'm so impressed and so excited that I took out... A bunch of stuff so that I can really dive into these products let me show okay. you as you can see here I've got some setting sprays I took out we've got a dewy right there dewy matte and this one here just says perfecting I'm gonna do all three of those I've got some primers out the L'Oreal perfecting base these two are poreless primers and this is a mattifying primer then over here I took out some luminous 
bronzers. I've got these guys here, the L'Oreal, the Flower, and the Wet n Wild are all pretty luminous, luminous. Oh my God, speak, luminous. This one here is satin, so I'm gonna try that one too. So I have not decided if I'm gonna add it in to this video or do a separate video or Instagram TV or TikTok. I don't know what I'm doing, but if this is the end of this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I highly recommend these products and on top of that, they're so affordable. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please thumbs up it, share it, subscribe. Check out my other um, accounts, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video.